हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आदित्य एंड यू आर वाचिंग जर्मन क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी लर्न टेम्पोरल प्रपोजिशन प्रपोजिशन दैट वी कैन रिलेट विद द टाइम इट कैन बी डाटिव इट कैन बी अपोजाटिव और गेनेटिव प्रपोजिशन सो टुडे वी लर्न टेम्पोरल प्रपोजिशन विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई रिटर्न हेयर फर्स्ट प्रपोजिशन नाक नाक मीन्स आफ्टर नाक मीन्स आफ्टर यू शुड नो द मीनिंग इट मीन्स आफ्टर ओके and this is dative preposition like nach einer woche nach einer woche nach einem monat after one month nach einem jahr after one year okay so this is dative preposition okay so with dative we use the article here you know dare and das changes into dem dare and das changes into dem in dative case dare and das converts into dem but if article is d feminine it changes into dare so this is with the dative, dative. you have to take care so here woch is d so nach einer woch dare monat einem das jahr einem after one week after one month after one year and after that you will write preposition similarly after meeting so nach nach dem treffen we write nach dem treffen das meeting so nach dem treffen so how do we complete the sentence iske baad sentence kaise complete hoga like nach einer woche gehe ich nach paris i'll go to paris After one week, एक हफ्ते के बाद मैं पेरिस जाऊंगा ना खाइना मोनाट एक महीने के बाद मैं एग्जाम दूंगा ना खाइना मोनाट श्राइब इस वर्क पोजिशन श्राइब इस प्रूफ हूं मैं एग्जाम लिखूंगा आफ्टर वन मंथ तो दिस इज योर वर्क दिस इज वन वर्ड ये पूरा एक वर्ड है ठीक है एंड देन वर्क पोजिशन ना खाइनम यार फारे इज आउट ऑफ Nach einem Jahr, you can use third person. Fair, air, auto. एक साल के बाद वो कार चलाएगा. Nach einem Jahr, fair, air, auto. He drives car after one year. Nach dem Treffen, after the meeting. Nach dem Treffen, S C H. I eat. मैं मीटिंग के बाद खाऊंगा. Okay, nach. So this is nach. Nach dem Treffen, S C H. You can also reverse. Is S Nach dem Treffen, that is also correct. So this is the use of nach, okay, dative preposition. Now we move on. Second is bis. Bis is accusative and it means till. Bis means till. This is accusative preposition. Huh? Accusative. Like bis next day woche, huh? till next week. Next day woche. This is accusative. So d woche. बिस नेक्स्ट एंड मोनाट टिल नेक्स्ट मंथ बिस आइन यार टिल वन ईयर सो दिस इज अपोजाटिव प्रपोजिशन लाइक आई से बिस नेक्स्ट बोख आर बाइटे इश हेयर अगले हफ्ते तक मैं यहां पे काम करूंगा उसके बाद चला जाऊंगा बिस नेक्स्ट बोख आर बाइटे इश हेयर so again this is the verb position so you have to take care of the verb position this is our verb okay this is one word here okay you understand till here this is our base next to book this is one word and then verb position second till next week okay this month talk you can write any month name this month talk this month talk blight माइन ओपा बिस्मोन ठाक मंडे तक मेरे ओपा स्टे करेंगे ब्लाइक माइन ओपा बाय मी ईयर ही स्टे विद मी ब्लाइक बाय मी ईयर सो देर आर टू प्रपोजिशन बाय मीन्स विद मी टिल मंडे माय ओपा स्टे विद मी टिल मंडे आफ्टर दैट यू विल गो उसके बाद वो चले जाएंगे टिल मंडे ऑल राइट सो दिस इज आकुजाटिव प्रपोजिशन बिस लाइक वी ऑल्सो से 
bis next book bis next monad i have written here already so with the time framework we can relate with the time so that's why it is called temporal preposition temporal preposition that we can relate with the time next four four means before or ago this is dative this is dative preposition okay this is dative four i am monad one month ago four i am monad four swai thagan do din pehle swai thagan so this is plural so an ending two days ago four dry wokhan okay three weeks ago four okay four dem termin before the appointment before the appointment four day are bite before the work so this is dative preposition this is dative so here we'll see the article d are bite it's t d change into dare dare termin d woke okay dare talk and dare monad so this is the use we have to take care this is dative preposition so monad i am monad ha dem dare change into dem so this is article okay indefinite so em ending i am so dare talk but this is plural two days do din pehle two days ago so swai tagan n extra n because dative plural noun takes extra n similarly weeks three weeks so plural so wokhan already wokhan is plural form already has n so no need to take extra n if it's already n then no need to write extra termin appointment day or change into them before the appointment or by it work before the work okay now we make sentence like how do we make sentence now let's see one by one so that you don't get confused i erase the extra things <coughs> four i am on four i am on art varish in berlin ek month pehle main berlin mein tha i was in berlin one month ago varish ha four i am on art varish because past this is in past varish in berlin this is in past ha four i am on art one month ago i was in berlin four i am on art hmm? four dem termin four dem termin before the appointment four dem termin laser is thus before the appointment i read this i read this before the appointment four dem termin four there are bite before the work four there are bite makesh nist i don't do anything before the work i will not do anything nist it's nothing i do nothing before the work kaam se pehle main kuch nahi karunga i will not do anything four there are bite so this is the use of four that is preposition now next slide zeit zeit means since like since one month i am here since two years i have been learning german since three weeks i am staying here so zeit means since this is also dative preposition so zeit means since so zeit i am monat since one month hmm zeit i am monat learn ish deutsch since one month i have been learning german okay zeit i am monat since one month i have been learning german zeit i am monat okay this is the verb second position zeit i am yaar fare ish auto since one year i am driving car fare ish auto hmm? zeit i am yaar since one year i am driving car zeit swai thagan since two days 
seit zwei Tagen besuche ich I am visiting I have been visiting since two days it's been two days sirf do din hue do din se main visit kar raha hu ek week se main car chala raha hu ek month se main german pad raha hu since time framework okay this is the time since since okay since this much time ek week se do month se one year se i am doing this thing since okay next slide verant verant means during this is genitive preposition but we use in temporal verant means during verant means during <coughs> like during the work i listen music so d changes into dare d or bite changes into dare verant dare or bite verant dare or bite here is music i listen music during the work i listen music okay during the work i listen music this is the work verant dare or bite during driving i don't eat verant des auto farans huh? during car driving farans genitive s ending huh? extra s genitive take extra s or es noun with masculine and neutral noun take extra s or es so out of foreign is das so des farans s is next i don't eat or i eat nothing i eat nothing during car driving i eat nothing verant okay verant des hurans during listening skills verant des hurans huh? Verant des hurans concentrate is mesh. I concentrate. Concentrate is mesh. Tire is mesh. Reflexive verb, na? I concentrate during listening. This is the verb position. You can see verb position second. These are all second position verb. So verant means during. So again, I am using this. Okay, during verant. Next. Bind, bind means also during, but this is dative. This is not genitive. So bind means also during. You should know the use. Like same sentence I can make. Bind out of farm. Bind out of farm. But no s because this is dative. So bind out of farm. Or I can say bind s n e capital. Okay. Bind trefan during meeting. So bind means I will use dare or das because it changes into dem. So bind means by plus dem, by plus dem equal to bind. By plus dem equals to bind. Bind out of foreign. Bind essen. Bind hevran. Bind trefan during the meeting. Bind trefan. Shribe is. During meeting, by interaction, shrive is I write. Okay, shrive, shrive is. By interaction, precious nest. I don't speak during eating. At the time, I don't speak during eating. By I'm out of foreign, then we can continue as you have seen. So, by means during. Or if it's D, suppose if article is D. then d changes into dare okay suppose i use d now what is the sentence like i say by by dare or bite <coughs> by dare proofing during the exam okay so this is d so d changes into dare by dare or bite by dare proofing during the exam during the work then we can continue like during the exam by the perform finish of my exam i am very careful i am very careful of my exam it means careful during exam i am very careful i am very attentive 
so this is the use of by during during exam i am very careful very attentive i concentrate next is ab ab means onwards like from monday onwards i'll go from friday onwards i'll work from february onwards i will start working from 2nd of march okay so up means onwards that is also dative onwards or from like up monta up mars from march up yanuar or up dem swaitan april from 2nd april go start it up dem from 2nd april from yanuar from may from montag up friday i can say up friday from friday and then go arbeite ish from friday i will work arbeite ish here from friday i will work here friday onwards i will work here from friday up we can also say ab heute ab heute ab heute rauche ich nicht i will not smoke from now rauche ich nicht ab heute ab heute from now ab jetzt we also say ab jetzt from now ab se main smoke nahi karunga from now onwards i will not smoke so that is up onwards or from so that was all in our today's lesson i hope you enjoyed today's temporal prepositions so in the description below you will find some important links of the videos there are 1400 videos on the channel so go and must watch for any query write to us email thank you so much bye bye take care